Hello, this is Anna Melia from Northeast Animal Rights. Just showing you the banner so you can see you properly this time. <laughs> I'm doing another one of the a series of interviews for Saturday Spotlight. We're very lucky to, um, to have um, Barbara Helen with us today. Barbara Helen is uh, a very good and um, high, high profile animal rights activist, but also she's a fantastic musician and songwriter. Okay, so good morning to you, Barbara. Oh, good morning. What a lovely introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'll just go straight into the questions. Okay. Yep. So first of all, um, when did you become vegan? How did it happen? Was it overnight or was it a gradual process? Right, okay, eight and a half years just about. Um, mm -hmm. It was 1st of June that I became vegan. And uh, I was vegetarian and um, it's surprising how much everything has moved on online, social media in the last eight years. Uh, because I, I'd, I thought being vegetarian was okay. I didn't know an awful lot about vegans. And, um, and I happened to catch a program called Jimmy and the Giant Supermarket, Dairy. It was entitled Dairy. And they used to show the, um, the program on, on YouTube, but I think they might have cut it because it's too graphic in inverted commas. And it showed sort of the truth behind dairy. These beautiful Guernsey um, calves, male calves, and it literally showed them being shot at a day old, three of them, because they were males. And I, my, my jaw was on the floor. I was like, no, no. And I just, it was like this light bulb moment of, oh my God. And I vowed at that moment that for those little calves, that I'd be vegan. And I just started to look for more information. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I announced to my husband, I said, that's it, I'm vegan, you know. Um, you know that's it i'm not having any milk any dairy mm. anything and that was that was me literally overnight i think you know sort of bit by bit i've been more interested and more aware but that was my light bulb moment about eight and a half years ago and there's been no turning back obviously so is your husband vegan as well he is now yeah oh, excellent. yeah yeah good <laughs> initially i mean because i'm i'm i enjoy cooking i really do i enjoy cooking i enjoy baking mm. And, um, and, and Les is really good at clearing up afterwards, so it's, it's a really good balance, you know. And so um, mainly he, he was eating vegan and he, he loving everything that he ate. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, he just quietly one day said, you know, that, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm not, not going to sort of, um, you know, eat anything that, uh, you know, that's alive anymore, you know, that was alive. Yeah, and, and it was and when when uh, we meet people, and uh, they say, "Oh, are you vegan too?" and he says, "Yes," and I think, "Oh, I feel really proud of him." You know, he just <laughs> yeah. just just no no big announcement, just sort of like, yeah, "Yeah, that's it." Yeah, stepped over the line. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think was the hardest part of becoming a vegan? The hardest part is you walk through that door and you think into that new beautiful land of I'm vegan. And it's sort of like this, you know, this poster where you see the rainbow and the lambs yeah. playing with yeah. the lions and you've got this. And then, boom, the veils fall and, yeah. and you think, oh, hang on. It's a lot different to being vegetarian, the way people respond, yeah. um, the way that people don't understand. Um, and so other people sort of block to being vegan. Um, I think is the worst, the sort of most difficult part about being vegan is, is other people who aren't, haven't got that yeah. awareness. Uh, living in a world that is non-vegan, basically, mm -hmm. it is very difficult because at first I thought, yippee, I'm vegan, yay, I'm going to change the world. Yeah. Everybody I talk to just want to change, you know, once they, yeah. once they see what I've seen. Yeah. And it wasn't like that at all. You know, it was, and um, everything you know, your world changes overnight, you know, um, everywhere you go looks different, yeah. smells different. Every advert you see, you're walking about in this land that just seems totally crazy to you. And it's like, yeah. like the Matrix, you know, yeah. if you've ever watched the Matrix, <laughs> mm -hmm. very much like that, you think, wake up, mm -hmm. uh, adverts on the telly, everything's so normalized. Mm -hmm. And that is the hardest thing, being vegan in a non-vegan world, as far mm -hmm. as I'm, I'm concerned anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Where do you think the animal rights movement has made its biggest progress in recent years? Um, and which area of animal rights frustrates you the most? For example, is it, you know, is it vivisection or animal agriculture? 
um, what's the part which kind of like really, really just, you know, frustrates you? Mm -hmm. um, the, the part that frustrates me with animal rights, um, well, sorry, not with animal rights, with the way things are, is it's purely speciesism. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the why love one and eat another. Yeah. Why are we sort of like, oh, yummy turkey, oh, yuck, yulin, you know, um, so that that unawareness, that lack of grasp of, of the of this issue of speciesism mm -hmm. and the issue of ownership of animals mm -hmm. and it rather than someone, you know, something rather than someone. Mm -hmm. And was the first part of the question where I think animal rights have made the most yeah, the biggest progress, yeah, the, the greatest progress in recent years. Well, obviously, it's my opinion, yeah, and yeah. you know, sort of, it changes every day because you become, you see something different, become more aware. Um, I think getting it out there, social media, mm -hmm. um, you're getting good articles now in, in papers like the Guardian. You're mm -hmm. getting supermarkets who who are sort of like, like Asda now. You know, we're going to have a yeah. full <laughs> of our, our vegan food and things. You know, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because you think. Is it going to be like all these vegans wandering up and down the aisle, which is fantastic? But is it like meat eaters going like that, you know, oh, get away with a cross? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I think social media, definitely, because it's like if, if you've not, you, you cannot help but be aware it's there. The, the information is there. It's, it's if you choose to look away from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, it's great to say to people, you know, this is what this is the documentary you can watch um, for for sort of animal rights, uh, for speciesism, for health, for environment. Mm -hmm. It's all out there. Every bit of information you need is out there. So I think that's fantastic, mm -hmm. and I think it's fantastic that more people, more individuals, are recognizing that 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 sort of old saying, "Be the change you want to see." And I'm very much a believer in that mm -hmm. because the change starts here um, with one small step, one small action that you make. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember going to see Joey Carb's Strong Talk at, um, at an event in Middlesbrough. And uh, it, was, it was brilliant because he, he summed it up. He said, um, for somebody to become 100% vegan, you know, you're not going to just have one conversation with them and it's going to be bing. For the majority of people, it might just be half percent, one percent, you know, just that little seed gets planted and another little seed. And then hopefully eventually, you know, they, they come round to the, you know, to the um, awareness mm -hmm. and, um, and sort of like evolve or change mm -hmm. uh, appropriately. And I, I, that's, that's sort of a big change in the movement. I think that every little advert, every T-shirt you wear, every piece of jewellery you wear, yeah. everything you eat, everything you pick up in a supermarket. For example, mm. I, I sort of had a huge trolley in Asda the other day because I haven't been to the supermarket for ages. And, um, and I, 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 there was no toilet rolls. <laughs> <laughs> but I managed to get everything else. And, uh, and these, these sort of vegan sausages were going through that I hadn't tried before, the heck ones. And, mm. um, and the, uh, the woman on the tour says, oh, they look unusual and I said oh yes you know plant-based la di da and uh you know sort of um, and uh, and I said in fact everything in this trolley is vegan and she says oh what about your flora and I said no actually it's vegan you know <laughs> and showed her the sign on it I thought oh, oh, you know and uh and I said so there you go great shop isn't it you know and I thought yeah so just every little thing you do mm -hmm. everywhere you go there's an opportunity to sort of um, promote veganism and um, and just raise awareness. So that's a great thing in the animal rights movement that we can all be mm. that change, live that change, do our little bit, you know, um, no matter how small you might think it is. Mm. I've had people coming up to me and say, oh, you know, it's starting to sink in what you said. Uh, I think I'll try an oat milk latte today, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it is. Uh, I mean, you're right. It's it's kind of being the role model, isn't it? It's about being um, the kind of vegan that you want people to to kind of be able to come and talk to. I mean, Joey Cobb song is a good example of. Um, you know, when when we're at the store. I mean, obviously we can't do the stores at the moment, but um, I've, I've said to people that 
you know, you might get somebody who comes along who's quite aggressive and quite sort of, uh, or defensive, you know, but that, mm. that could be the first time they've ever approached it. But the fact that they're coming up to you is a good thing. And then maybe um, you have somebody else who's kind of like sort of been looking into it and coming up to talk to you. And then they're at the back end of their journey and they just need that little, little bit of conviction. And, they, they, you know, so everybody's at different sort of like stages of the, of the little journey. Um, and you don't I know what you're, part you're playing in it. <laughs> you're, you're 100% right there. Um, I love that saying, we are all ripening fruits on the same vine. That's yeah, a really nice thing. Yeah. Yes, I but do. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were, you're so right. And, I, and like, be the vegan you would like to meet. And, I, and uh, I've just sent off a, a T-shirt from Viva La Vegan because mm. they had on offer, uh, an offer with the new baby River Phoenix being mm. born. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and it's got that lovely River Phoenix quote on, you know, Run to the rescue with love and peace will follow yeah. and um and uh, and, I, and i've sent off of that so i can't wait for it to come mm. and and i think yeah that is so true if mm. it's i always think about being vegan as like entering this grief process mm. you know um you sort of thrust into this grief process like of anger deny or you can't believe people can't do it you're grieving oh you know sort of it's sad you're, you're depressed mm. and going around in a grief circle and round and round and I think we all go through different stages I've yeah. been angry I've been sort of like mm. frustrated and felt helpless and everything mm -hmm. but at the end of the day I think you start to realize that be that beacon of light yeah. mm. be that love you know, when people are coming up to you and sort of like, nah, 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 nah. you know, it's uh, being, you know, what about the, what about the plants and things like that? You know, it's, it, it don't, you know, don't respond with anger, you know, try and, because there is a saying that goes, you know, once you, once you know you're telling the truth, there's no need to shout about your, you know, about you know, your truth. You know your truth, and people know when you know your truth. Mm. You know if you you are saying this thing from the heart, yeah. you know, your truth, um, and believing it one you know one hundred percent. Which obviously, mm. you know, if, if you're mm. vegan, you do. Mm -hmm. um, there's there is no argument really. It's yeah. it's just like you know discussing it with somebody. They have their opinion from where they are, you know, and um, that's where they are. You know, you you cannot change somebody but you can give them you know that inspiration mm -hmm. and, uh, and the information mm -hmm. to help them i think um i mean that's one of the things which like with our group um i mean I've, the t-shirt i've got today for example i've got it's a it's a viva one i don't you can't really oh, say it. Yeah. it says um vegan is a state of kind right uh, and that's kind of the, like the sort of like approach i want to take because um you know there's times for shouting protests and demos and things but i think with outreach it's much more about being approachable kind of like being a smiley person no matter what they come back at you with like you said you know the, the kind of um the vegan bingo the play with you all the time um it's just about you know you're right you know you're on the right side of history and you know that at some point they might get it other times they might just completely not but they might get it you know so you're kind of like working with them to keep on if, if you're shouting or being rude to them they're gonna just walk away and, you, and you've totally lost your opportunity yeah, and it's confirmed everything they ever thought about yeah. vegan. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. And, and I think you're 100% right there. And at the end of the day, it's just always coming back to this is for the animals. Yeah. It's not for me to win an argument. It's not for my ego. It's not because I'm better than anybody else. Yeah. It's for yeah. the animals. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what I try and come back to always. If, if yeah. sort of, you know, you get that into that sort of tangle mm -hmm. and you think, this isn't about me winning an argument. This is for the animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when did you first realise that you could advocate for animals through your music? Uh, what process do you go through when you get an idea for a song and what drives you when, you, when, you're, when you're writing? Well, I've always, from being very small, written poems, then picked up a guitar, written, written songs, love singing, just part of who I am. And um, it's like when some, some people come up to me and say, oh, you're still doing your music and you say yeah it's like I'm still breathing <laughs> yeah it's like no 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 <laughs> just a fad <laughs> yeah so it's, it is like if you're an artist or a poet yeah. it's part of who you are you don't retire you don't you know you just sometimes you you know sort of like it ebbs and flows the creativity mm -hmm. it's not something I'm working at as a formula so um for me initially I was um songwriting was very much about um personal relationships 
and then started sort of thinking more about the environment so it was what what's going on in my mind what's going on and um and started to write songs about the environment and then uh, obviously as i became vegan eight years ago it was almost like um if you think that when you get this huge feeling like this sob that wants to come out sometimes you know mm. and and that's how it very often is with a with a, a song because i see a situation mm. and um or I experience a situation mm. and it's almost like this oh you know and i'll go and pick up my guitar and it just the song comes out it writes itself yeah. it's not like i'm thinking oh i'm going to write like a song today because mm. you know i have to get this novel out because mm. of my publisher yeah. i just you know it's it is purely a, an emotional thing it keeps me sane it really mm. really does mm -hmm. um because it allows me to express mm. that feeling mm -hmm. and um and that's how i write a song mm -hmm. sometimes i can be walking along and just, just this little phrase will come into my head like a recent song I wrote, it's, like, it's all about the animals. Mm -hmm. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's all about the animals. It mm -hmm. just kept going round in my head because mm -hmm. I was thinking about um, the way that a lot of um, sort of um, animal rights groups, there's a lot of clashes, there's a lot yeah. of, sort of arguments and um, uh, for one reason or another, Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, it's all about the animals. It's not about you, no, and it's not about me, you know. And yeah, I and yeah. I came back to that, and that's the song wrote itself. When I got home, mm -hmm. and I got the tune and the sort of like the the chorus in my mind. And I, mm -hmm. the good thing about having your phone with you is you can sing it into <laughs> it. Whereas prior to that, I used to have to sort of like sing it over and over again to think, yeah. not forget it. So mm -hmm. I can come home and and there it is, and then I can work on it a little bit and then put it aside i don't try and force it if, if nothing else is coming i just think all right mm -hmm. and then i'll wake up in the middle of the night you know and, and something else will come into mind because it's almost like fermenting mm -hmm. you know yeah. i've started on this song and i'm fermenting and <laughs> um, and out it comes so yeah so that that's how i, I write my songs but it's usually an experience personal experience i've had something i've mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm. like one of the environmental songs i was walking through middlesbrough and um it was a day when i was attending an AVQ yeah and uh, they uh, <clears throat> there was white plastic bag floating in a tree flapping in a tree and I thought oh, it's like surrender a white flag of surrender mm -hmm. from nature mm -hmm. and and I wrote the song war against nature mm -hmm. you know and um, it, it, you know just little things like that it's songwriting very often is like you have this like net on your head mm -hmm. and and something will sort of like come along and you capture it yeah. and bring it in um things can float by and, and and i sometimes think oh if i hadn't have, if i hadn't have captured that it would never have been a song so yeah. it's always a way it's always a good idea to to sort of like just just store that that sort of thought that that mm. phrase and uh, because it helps then to get out that emotion mm -hmm. and it's i think as as being a vegan and being a vegan activist it is it pays a great toll on your mental and physical health yeah. Yeah. having to see things being yeah. the glass walls mm -hmm. seeing things that other people deny and won't see mm -hmm. in order to sort of like as i say be the glass walls for them and mm -hmm. and um, nobody enjoys seeing that nobody wants mm -hmm. to see that and when you do it it does you know it's like it's there in your mind forever you know mm -hmm. that image is there in your mind forever so it's finding a way of, of dealing with it and that's mm -hmm. why it's so good to to be with your vegan family mm -hmm. um you know sort of talk about how you feel mm -hmm. and to express it whatever way you can mm -hmm. be it you know sort of chalking mm -hmm. um or, or sort of drawing or um you know any any way if you can i think if you can if you can sort of take that and make it in a creative way Mm -hmm. to sort of push it back out there in a creative way mm -hmm. it's it's a very positive thing yeah. to do yeah. and it's the only way i feel that you can cope sometimes mm -hmm. and remain sane because it can veganism activism can really wear you down because mm -hmm. of everything you're up against yeah. and everything you have to witness mm -hmm. and um and so you have to make ensure that you you know you you nurture yourself that you you, you, mm -hmm. you sort of like turn that into a positive in, in whatever way you possibly can and talk 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 to people yeah. who understand 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you, you, I mean, you're right about the mental health side of it. Um, it's, it's something which is overlooked in, in animal rights. Um, because you're right. I mean, we we go out there. We you know we do things like the saves, and um, not, they're not pleasant. But we do them because we know we can speak with conviction. Uh, the people who come to the stores or ask you questions about being vegan, you know, you can sort of dispel any of the myths they have about you know cows going singing, singing and skipping to the deaths. You know, um, but it is something which you really need to be careful about because um, I think um, when I was talking to Julie Galatly and Peter Regan, they both said it's like compassion fatigue. You just get so sort of like worn down with it all. You know. Um, but I think um, you're right, it's about, it's about talking, about trying to look at the positive side of it and talk, talk, talk to people um, because they'll probably be thinking the same thing as you and looking after each other, making sure you've got a good, you know, got a good group of people you can talk to and um, support you as well because they... That is so important, yeah. 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 And uh, compassion fatigue, yeah, it's... Um, I think be kind to yourself and recognise, you know, when you've, when you've done as much as you can, it could be one save a year you know mm. it um it could be some people you know it, it depends on your personality yeah. as a person your individuality mm. um what you do there is no hierarchy there is no sort of like oh look at all that they're doing mm. all that they're doing your yeah. your sort of um one um vigil mm. is 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 just as good as yeah. you know it's, it's as much yeah. as you can do yeah. do what you can do yeah. um because uh, it is painful it is hard yeah. and um and it's like you cannot be a, a good activist a good advocate if you if you don't look after yourself yeah you know? so yeah. So you, you, you've you sent us very kindly, thank you, um, th- three songs we're going to play um, at the same time as interviews aired. So if I, can, can you talk me through what you were, you were thinking about when you, when you wrote them? Um, the first one is I Saw You. Yes, well, I Saw You, it, um, it was after, um, I've been to a vigil, an animal say vigil at um, Linden Foods, which is a regular, a regular one, hasn't been obviously <clears throat> recently because of your restrictions. Mm-hmm. and um it's it's about a three hour round journey for me and you know getting there quite early mm-hmm. so it's it's one I, I attend when i can mm-hmm. and um and it's it, it was sort of like one of those sob moments when i got home mm-hmm. um you know it's like look into the eyes apologize you know i saw you today <clears throat> and it's talking it's sort of like expressing how I saw you, you know, I, I looked into your eyes, I saw you, you were there, you were someone, mm-hmm. um, you know, for that moment, everybody that was there, we saw you. And, and that's, you know, it's like expressing the love for, for, for that non-human animal who was going to slaughter. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, you know, I, it, one of the choruses, our hearts broke today, mm-hmm. you know, um, and if you all knew what the innocents went through, you'd feel the same way. And it's um, and that so that's what it's about. It's like standing outside the slaughterhouse, mm-hmm. seeing the animals go to the deaths, be they organic or farm mm-hmm. fed or grass fed or whatever. They all go through that, them same gates, yeah. and um, there is no happy ending. But it's it's uh, I saw you, and I feel emotional every time I sing it. And it's been such a, a positive song mm-hmm. in a lot of ways because. Um, the feedback I've had is like, oh, that just expresses exactly how I felt. And that's another mm-hmm. good thing about my songwriting, I feel, that mm-hmm. um, fellow vegans, activists can come up to me and say, I just felt like that. You've summed it up. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we all feel the same, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, it, that is such a positive thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I Saw You is about looking yeah. into the eyes of, of a, a cow. Yeah. when i was when i was look, looking at the lyrics as well i mean it's it's, it's spot on it's, it is how you feel when you're standing at a vigil it's uh, yeah. it's quite um uh, raw isn't it it's quite raw and um and, and very emotional um yeah. so what about uh, love lucian then oh love lucian that's a positive song yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like um environmentally thinking about you know the clouds are gathering Mm. and there's a mountain to climb but mm. put your hand in mine together you know yeah. mm. uh, we'll start a revolution let's yeah. let's you know love is the answer yeah. and it was like you know the um the fires are raging mm. the rivers are rising the ice caps are, are sort of like melting 
but together we can start a love illusion you know let love is the answer and yeah. it's the corniest phrase and but it's the truest phrase you know yeah. everything comes down to love yeah. uh, be it self-love love of, of animals love of yeah. every the earth the planet mm -hmm. and a love illusion a revolution of love that's mm -hmm. what that was about yeah. so it's it's a positive call to arms <laughs> yeah it's uh, you're right the way it is i mean when we have these conversations um you know um, with, you know, we'll have people who, people who are um, religious speakers who have come up to the store, um, and I've also done a, I've done some interviews which I'm going to be posting probably I think it's next week, um, some um, some interviews with um, high profile Christian vegans, okay? Oh, because great. Um, and then I've got down the line I've got a couple of um, I've got a Hindu vegan as well, Dina Mahoon, she's agreed to to do one, um, because from my point of view. Um, religion is is about love should be about love and so is veganism so why aren't people who follow faiths why aren't they all vegan you know so it's kind of like exploring the tensions within the religions um, but you're right it is essentially it's about love yeah and i have a, a, veg a lovely vegan friend who um he's christian mm -hmm. and he puts christian posts on about you know promoting veganism and quotes from the bible you know sort of um for people who are sort of like quoting from the Bible, perhaps to justify eating animals, mm. uh, like we have dominion and things yeah. is like this, that. Is this, is this Doug by any chance? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. he was one of the ones I interviewed. <laughs> oh, I am pleased. Yeah, because yeah. I, I do yeah. like reading his posts yeah. and seeing the pictures, yeah. and, and Doug's a lovely guy. I didn't want to mention yeah. his name because I didn't feel, you know, <laughs> no, didn't no, sort of it's, yeah. Throw him in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am so pleased because he's yeah. a lovely and um and yeah you know it must be extremely difficult um for him because he you know, he is a a strong believer and he must be very frustrating to do mm -hmm. to, to sort of like know that the basic message is love mm -hmm. and but yeah. it's been distorted and yeah. confused and, yeah. and ignored yeah, yeah. So the, the final song you've, uh, you've given us is all about the animals and you touched on it earlier on oh, yes, about the, yes. the clashes and the groups and it kind of fundamentally bringing back to being about the animals. Yeah, so. yeah. And that, yeah, basically that is, it's like everything comes back down to it. It's all about the animals. Let's mm. just, when you're speaking with somebody, um, you know, always remind them and remind yourself, you know, that it, it is all about the animals. Mm. And it, I find it heartbreaking to see it's almost like if somebody wanted to destroy the animal rights movement they just throw that little grenade in to sort of like split everybody up into little fractions mm. and when we all need to be coming together um, I know it's difficult I know there's no magic answers and it's a very controversial subject yeah. however it's it's like we all have to be in the same stride um, yeah. and it all has to be about the animals and um there's no perfect way there's no right way there's no wrong way there's no better way we are different we're all like i say the ripening fruits are the same man we're all as long as we're all approaching that aim um there are different avenues to it and um within reason you have to accept you know that uh, that's their approach this is my approach yeah. you know um some people are very much oh no you know waving banners and showing graphic things is not the way to go mm -hmm. but it might reach some people mm -hmm. you know whereas you know gently talking to somebody mm -hmm. and, and being very kind and, and very gentle about it might, might help somebody else it's mm -hmm. when i say help I'm, i mean helping the animals it's not about yeah. helping them there's nothing wrong they don't need help yeah. but um it, it is all about the animals yeah, yeah. and it, that's what it that's what that was about um mm -hmm. you know um yeah. there's no beauty wearing someone else's skin or fur it's all about the animals that sort of thing you know it's yeah. like just just yeah. recognize you know, sort of what we're doing to to the animals yeah. yeah so how do you feel about the future of the animal rights movement do you feel optimistic about it or do you feel as if there's still so much to be doing there's always going to be something to be done. I, I can only view it from my perspective where I am now, um, from my little bubble where I am. Um, mm. it's, I'm very optimistic because it, it brings it back down to what I said at the beginning, really, that um, the worst thing is to feel powerless in any situation. 
So give yourself the power by recognizing, you know, that, that you can be the change you want to see. Uh, because if you if you look too far ahead at the big picture, it just looks unfathomable. But mm-hmm. I've heard people say, oh, God, you know, I'm not making a difference. Nothing's changing. You look back over the 10 years, things yeah. have changed mm-hmm. fantastically. I mean, for example, I think probably about six years ago, I remember writing, emailing to Marks and Spencer's. We need vegan food in Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> There's no vegan food. And I, I don't think my email particularly was the tipping point. But... <laughs> It's like, you know, we now have vegan food in Marks and Spencer's. Well, I like to think that maybe that tiny little, mm-hmm. you know, sort of yeah. speck of dust, you know, built up to make a huge, great pile. Mm-hmm. And it's like, um, yeah, it's just all doing your own little bit every single day and recognising your mm-hmm. um, achievements, recognising mm-hmm. that, that, um, that little change that you've made, that little positive mm-hmm. change you've made, no matter... You know, thinking, oh, I played a part in that. So, yeah, uh, I am very positive about the future of animal rights because because of social media, because of people getting out on the streets um, and, and sort of like discussing it. Everybody knows what vegan is now. And if they don't, they can be directed to it quite easily. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the difference to that, like when I first saw that, that um, mainstream TV programme uh, with the dairy calves, yeah. you know, that was not available to me online, that information, I don't think, uh, because I wasn't that computer savvy. I think I, I don't think I'd even joined um, mm. Facebook or anything like that then. Um, so, so yeah, having, I'm so very positive. Yeah, it's yeah. great. There's so many amazing people who I know and who I know of mm. who are really making a huge difference just mm. by believing in what they're doing and uh, and getting out and doing it yeah you're, you're right i mean when you look back sort of in the time i've been vegan and the t- pretty much the same time as you um it's um you know nobody knew what vegan was um in, in the early in the early days and you were constantly checking ingredients there was no vegan sign commonly used and now yeah. it's everywhere everybody knows you have to be an alien not to know what a vegan is now or not yeah. have heard, heard the term so it yeah. is and i think Fast forward 10 years time, you know, where we're going to be, it's only going to get better. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. And another good thing is like, uh, when one thing I really enjoy doing is like baking cakes, mm. making food yeah. and um, sharing that with people yeah. who aren't yeah. vegan. Mm. And it's like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Give me the recipe. Mm-hmm. And that's the, that has happened so many times, yeah. you know, be it like when I was in a work situation yeah. or yeah. Um, family or friends come round or I make something for friends, mm-hmm. can I have the recipe? And that is just such a simple way mm-hmm. of, of helping people to recognise, oh, mm-hmm. I can do this. It's yeah. like, what do you eat? You know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know it's great to be positive, isn't it? It's, mm-hmm. it's good. It's a good feeling and yeah. it's a genuine feeling. Yeah. I am genuinely yeah. positive. Yeah. Because, as I say, that grief cycle, you know, mental health, I go up and down. I've been right down on the floor. And, you know, I, I can go from being up there to be right down. And then, you know, just get the toolbox out, ring your friends, you know, get online, chat to somebody and, and pull yourself back up again, definitely. Yeah. It's been, <laughs> uh, it's been thoroughly delightful. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you this morning, this morning, Barbara. So I really, really do appreciate you giving up your time. Um, oh, well, I, I love what you do and I appreciate what you do. And it's been great you. that you've have me perform at some of your festivals and hopefully in the future again <laughs> yeah i know I, i'm hope so i hope so we've um, we've got ourselves booked up for the, the, the newcastle one but i know there's no performances there but i'm hoping to do our festival as a music festival again as soon as the restrictions allow us i want to get more musicians because i think it's a really really good way of reaching people it is, yeah. it, is it, it touches the emotions yeah, yeah. And they go away and they're singing the songs all the time and they're kind of, you know, yeah. like in the... All about the animals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Love illusion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want, so obviously when, the, when this interview's um, posted, we'll be posting the three songs you sent over as well. Oh, and brilliant. We'll put some links on so people can, because obviously you, you can, um, you know, you can buy your music as well, which is a great way yeah. of sort of, um, you know, put it in your car and other people can hear it as well and these little earworms get in your head and the... You know, oh, yeah. So it's a, yeah. it's a great way and, of... And, uh, of but um, I mean, I do have a CD out called yeah. Vegan Eyes, and I'm in the midst mm-hmm. of making a, a new one called Vegan Family. I've got all the right. songs written, yeah. but um, 
now I've sort of like every, every penny from every download or every mm. CD I sell, mm. it goes into my little activism fund. So mm. it's like non-profit yeah. and um, I'll off out, you know, something like petrol money. I am retired. Yeah. I'm a retired yeah. nurse. And it's like petrol money yeah. um, or, or something, you know, mm. I'll donate it to a, you know, sort of a, a vegan charity or something. But it's mainly to fund my activism. Um, yeah. I, I'm not doing it as a commercial project. No, 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 no. It's all about the animals. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, thank you very much, anyway, for joining us today. So this is Barbara Helen, um, and I'm Anna, 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 sorry, I can't even say my name. <laughs> I'm Anna Amelia from Northeast Animal Rights, saying goodbye for now. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoop, hang on. There you go.